back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the new HBO promo that featured some new looks at the Season 7 cast of Game of Thrones. We've already seen a few promos in the past weeks, but the newest one includes several cast members in their new dark wardrobe for the upcoming season. We know that Game of Thrones just recently wrapped filming for this summer's release, and as time presses on, we are going to see more trailers and more digital content to increase the hype. Anyway. In the promo, we see popular characters from different HBO shows saying the word ah, making fun of the sound you hear every time before a show starts. From Game of Thrones, we see Jaime Lannister in dark clothes, in fact, pretty much the same outfit he wore when he was feasting with the Freys in Season 6. And he's staring at his gold hand. Then we see Daenerys. Now, if you've kept up with any of the Season 7 filming spoilers or you saw the last promo that came out a few days ago, you should already know that Danny is going to be hanging out at Dragonstone for at least a little while in Season 7. We've seen the throne that she sits on and the dark royal garments she wears. Charlie from Emergency Awesome mentioned that she was starting to look like her late father, Aerys Targaryen. I actually think it's quite a sign of where priorities lie in the storyline. These characters are slowly being taken over by their own idea of power. Obviously, Cersei is becoming a doppelganger of the Mad King because she has unleashed wildfire on her own people and shown time and time again that she does not care for the welfare of the realm. Danny, on the other hand, has brought much change to the former slave cities of Essos, and now that her dragons are all healthy and out in the open, who knows how much damage she can inflict. Certainly, with whatever conflict takes place between Cersei and Danny, innocent lives will be lost and their dark clothing almost seems to show which direction they're heading in. Jon's clothing is dark as well. When Sansa originally made his leather Stark armor in Season 6, I started to notice how much darker it was than anything we saw Rob or Ned wear. This is most likely because the Night's Watch only has dark materials for clothing, or in most cases the recruits that show up to the wall just dye their garments black. But I like that Jon has his own unique wardrobe now, since he is his own character, and surely, by this point, he has a different path than the rest of his family. Going back to Daenerys, she is not saying ah, she is pointing up with her finger, and at the same time you can hear her dragons. And Jon isn't saying ah either, he is just shushing the audience. There is also a super quick cut of Torment with a huge smile on his face, you know, kind of like the smile that he gave Brienne. Then we see Sansa, and just like everyone else, her clothes are very dark. I would even venture to say that Sansa is probably going to have a few scenes that show her satisfaction with power, and maybe even killing. I mean, she is becoming a very wise player now, and after killing Ramsay, Sansa might move on to other enemies, maybe even Littlefinger. Then we see Bran. Bran is warging, and he has nice clothes, not the rags he ran around with north of the wall. This probably means his character makes it south. I wonder if he will run into Jon. I really want Jon to learn the truth about his parents. And speaking of the King in the North, why is he shushing us? Do you think that it's a hint at what his character might do in Season 7? I have an idea, but it's based on a Season 7 filming leak. If you don't want anything spoiled, you may want to click off the video now. Anyway, the filming leak that says Jon Snow will lead a group of warriors north of the Wall in hopes to catch a white leads me to believe that Jon will get his group to stay silent as they stalk said white. Jon shushes everyone, and then the scene continues on. If the leak proves true, then this will lead to a major battle between the group of men and the Night King's forces. I have no evidence of this, but I like to think that it could be a possibility. As we know from pretty much every other confrontation with White Walkers, they show up literally out of nowhere, and they are super quiet. But again, just a thought. Let me know what you think. As always, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.